These are our last trout that we're releasing. April 22nd, 2015. Thank you, Andy, for that. These are the last three being released by Patrick. Go ahead, Patrick. Worthy of a round of applause. April 22nd, 2015, Earth Day. Students from Longwood High School release 188 brook trout into the Peconic River at Otis Pike Preserve in Calverton. The hope is that some of these young trout will survive to adulthood and start to restore the once plentiful brook trout population to the rivers of Long Island. This amazing event is a result of Longwood High School's participation in the Trout in the Classroom program, which gives the students the opportunity to raise brook trout from eggs, watch the process of their life cycle, and release the trout into the wild to help restore the local environment. All right, and as you're releasing the fish, say the same thing, okay? So bend all the way down. And let him go. And what do you say? Happy. 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 Okay. Very good. Well done, well done. The Trout in the Classroom program first came to Longwood in 2012, where it was started up by Ivan Suarez, an AP environmental science teacher in the high school. By replying to an ad in the newspaper, Suarez made connections with both John Fisher and Tony Artola, the president of the Art Flake chapter of Trout Unlimited, and started a program that would expand to not only the special education department at the high school, but also to the Longwood Middle School in a little more than a year. Without the tireless work of the teachers involved in the program, the willingness of the students to participate in it, and support from Trout Unlimited, who generously donate the trout eggs to the program every year, this program would not be possible. One of the reasons why I started the Trout in the Classroom program was to bring nature indoors. I couldn't always bring my students out to the outdoors to study nature. And one of the ways to get them to experience nature was to bring nature indoors to them. And that's part of the reason why I started the Trout in the Classroom program. The first year of Longwood's Trout in the Classroom program had rather humble beginnings, starting with only one tank. All of the initial eggs died before hatching this year, so a number of trout in the fry stage were given to Longwood by another school. Although in the end only 37 trout were released this year, the program proved to be a resounding success due to the students' willingness to be involved, which made the next year of the program possible, and allowed it to expand to several biology and special education rooms the following year. The second year of the program released upward of 400 trout and involved four tanks in three departments of the high school, and one tank in the middle school. The huge expansion of the program not only allowed for more students to get involved, but also created a way for students who normally wouldn't know each other to work together towards a common goal. The second year of the program also introduced the Longwood Trout Blog on Weebly. This is a student-run blog and allows for the students to share what they do, how the trout are growing, and the final results of the program after release day. The third and most recent year of the program has produced fantastic results as well. 188 brook trout were released by the high school on Earth Day, while 25 were kept in and 121 were released on May 26th by the middle school, a combined total of 334 trout. Although this year only released about half the number of fish as the previous year, it has produced a number of students who are determined to expand the program farther than ever. The Trout in the Classroom program centers around letting the students do the work and get some hands-on experience. The program can best be described as conservation through education, teaching the students about their environment, how they affect it, and how they can protect it. Students run nearly the entire program and are responsible for the care of the trout from day one when the eggs arrive to the end of release day. Student responsibilities really begin before the eggs even arrive as they must prepare each of the fish tanks where the trout are to be raised. This involves cleaning up the tank and all the equipment, setting up the filtration and chiller, and checking water chemistry to make sure the water is safe for the eggs when they arrive. Once the eggs are put into the tank, students are in charge of checking on the eggs, removing the opaque, dead eggs so they do not decay in the water or allow fungus to grow on them, and regularly check the water chemistry to make sure the water is healthy for the eggs. Students also journal all action that they perform in the tank, record water parameters, and log the amount of eggs removed for a total mortality count. 
Once the eggs hatch, students are in charge of making sure the automatic feeders are functioning and feeding the proper amount of food, changing food sizes as the fish grow, performing water changes and water chemistry tests, and removing any dead fish from the tank. Students continue to log everything they do in the journal, including water tests, water changes, parameters, the amount of dead removed, and any interesting behavior that they observe. Students also run the show once the trout are ready to be released. On site, students must take the water parameters of the Peconic River, search for and identify any microinvertebrates in the area that could be indicators of the river's health, acclimate the fish to the river, and of course, release them. Documentation is made on the number of fish released, right, and students trout. finally get to experience what all their hard work was for. Due to the great success of the program, Longwood has plans to expand the program even further. Currently, the plan is to expand the trout tanks, making them into aquaponic stations. This would help make the program have more educational value to the students involved in the program teaching them not only about the trout, but also about a number of plant species that they will be raising in addition to the trout. Such a program would be able to be used to teach about ecological niches of plants and animals, and make students more aware of the connections between organisms in ecosystems. Longwood is also hoping to soon expand the program to the junior high school as well, making the program have eight tanks across three schools in the district and in effect creating a bridge for students in 5th grade all the way up to 12th, allowing for an interactive learning experience to be available to students at all levels. The ultimate goal of this expansion, and the program itself, is to inspire kids from a young age to care for their environment and to show them that anyone can make a difference. In any case, the future of the program is bright, and has innumerable possibilities as to how much it can do and how much it can inspire the next generation.